It's a homecoming of sorts this week for Tony Decker. Decker, front man for the band Great Lakes Swimmers, returns to his old high school for a concert Friday night. In advance of the show, he spent some time with staff, students, and the source. Well, I think we've been working on the show for like a couple years now or something. Our schedule's been pretty busy. Uh, we had an album release here last year. And uh, so I got in touch with um, Glenn Gifford, the, the school principal, and we were emailing back and forth and we were trying to come up with an idea, um, maybe a charitable event, you know, and a concert that we could kind of combine. And uh, it was more or less a matter of scheduling, you know, to find a, a time that worked within the school year and also worked with our schedule. So um, it's been a work in progress, yeah. <laughs> Tony mentioned he hasn't been putting you off intentionally. It's just been a matter of getting everyone's schedules together. Is that right? He's been busy. He's been in Europe. It's been a, you know, a, a lot of moving parts to get everything uh, organized and running. But uh, he has a, a great following, and, uh, and, and we have a lot of, uh, lot of interest. Uh, tickets are just, uh, just about sold out. And uh, it's been a lot of moving parts with him touring and everything that's happening here at the school. But it's, it's worked out perfectly, and we look forward to Friday. Decker's visit to Lakeshore is being documented by Jay Lupish and his crew from On Point Creative. The, lower the finished project will be shown just prior to the curtain being raised Friday night. Uh, it's it's going to be about coming home. It's about uh, him coming home for the first time in a while, like back to school for the first time in a while. And I think it's about um, having a dream and following through with that dream and being able to do something you love for a living. Um, and he comes from a small town. Uh, he comes from Wayne Fleet, so yeah, it's got to it's got to be done by Friday, so it's good. But we got a lot of support. We're um, we're working with uh, a lot of cool people. Like the crew is is pretty solid, and, and we do this quite a bit. Proceeds from the concert will aid humanitarian projects in the island of Dominica. Our school has a a, a long running relationship with the island of Dominica, which uh, in. Uh, in July was ravaged by Tropical Storm Erica, and to supplement uh, the annual donations that we give from our Gator Walk pilgrimage, uh, we decided that uh, our ticket proceeds uh, from that event would go to uh, uh, would go to the uh, people of Portsmouth, Dominica. Uh, so there's a charity aspect of it as well. Uh, Tony himself, being a graduate of Lakeshore Catholic High School, uh, when presented with the idea, uh, was was all for it. Decker left Lakeshore in 1995 after graduating from Western. He ended up in Toronto, where he would eventually form Great Lake Swimmers. Will you be looking out in the audience yeah. a little bit more than normal on Friday night? Uh, probably not. It'll probably be the opposite of that. I'll probably try to be forget, forgetting that I have, you know, such a big group of family and friends and a lot of people I haven't seen in a long time, you know, going to be at the show. So, uh, no pressure. Just a few tickets remain for Friday night's concert by the Great Lakes Swimmers. To claim yours, call the school at 905-835-2451. In Niagara, you're watching The Source.